downsizing in Pakistan and the type of the planning commission we have, uh, there is a disconnect. A disconnect results into the wastage of resources. And I'll come to these points later. Um, Fawad Saab had really provoked me on the question that there is any concept of like having any big government. I am a teacher, research, researcher, writes. So the argument is minimum government versus maximum government. Adam Smith says that the minimum government, so we should have the fruit of individuals' labor. Marx, and these two ideas have dominated the world history and economic history, so we keep referring to these. I'm not that old, so please bear with me. So bourgeoisie's government, when the government of the capitalist is there and helping the crony capital, so Marx said that this type of the state has to wither away. In the latest times, when we see the economic literature, Buchanan, when coined the idea of public choice and the idea of fiscal federalism was promoted, and then North and Roderick and what else, the latest wave of economic literature talks about that is it a curse to have a big government? We see that in all developed countries, the size of the government is almost 30%, 40%. When we look at our government, it is 20% of the resources. And sir, humbly, you are from bureaucracy and you know the inside out, so I can't challenge your ideas, but the type and the amount of the work which our bureaucrats are doing, humongous, their offices are full, and I'm not trying to legitimate, but this type of a rush you can't see in any developed country's public servant offices. We have not upscaled. The power can be used to facilitate the people, to enable the people. The power which we are talking about can make things happen. And there is a Wagner's law and Peacock's hypothesis, Wiseman and Peacock's hypothesis and Mesgrave's thinking, these all are saying that the government expenditure has to increase when there is increase in public, uh, per capita income. The elasticity of income per capita has to be greater than one when we are making extra penny spending on public service. Unfortunately, in Pakistan, it is flat. And here you are right, that the size of the public sector and the spending is not promoting growth. It is not enabling growth. May I request to please go forward? So this was I have done, please. Uh, I am not usually following presentations, but for the keeping the audience busy. So when, when, when we are talking about, please move forward. Uh, so when we are talking about the reforms has to be merciless, I'll take you to the tour of the history. And tour of the history will tell us 
And I am mentioning intentionally two pieces of reforms in which Parvez Tahir was there, and I have benefited from his ideas and his, his wisdom. One is in 1997, Hafiz Pasha was the Deputy Chairman Planning Commission. He'd been given this task to downsize or the restructure, please move forward, downsize or restructure the federal government. And you can see these numbers. They have said we need to rationalize the ministries and the divisions. 18 ministries and 24 divisions. And it will save 25% of the wage bill. This was in 1997. We move forward, 2000. Deputy Chairman Planning Commission, Shahid Amjad Chaudhary. Parvez Tahir was member. And again, the task assigned to downsize the federal government. Findings were more or less the same. We should have minimum government. We should have a surplus pool. We should build the capacity. Every ministry should have mission, vision statements, performance indicators, and one sentence really was very fascinating for me. The report said, and I quote, that our public servants has the capacity to write their mission and vision statements, and they can do these things quite capably. When I was listening to Fawad Saab, and then he talked about the capacity challenge, and we see all around that now we have the donors in the ministries to write these type of the statements. In 2000, the findings are almost the same was in 1997. And Pasha's report suggested that there was an earlier exercise as well by the caretaker, and that was restrictive. And in all, in these two exercises, defense and defense production, and foreign affairs was not included, and these were the separate reforms. Ladies and gentlemen, we had 18th Amendment. Please move forward. And again, we see that the findings are almost same. We have to devolve some of the, the responsibilities of the federal government to the provinces. And in this land of pure, we have seen that the money devolved, but not responsibilities. And there were, again, proposal that we should have 10 ministries quite sufficient to run the affairs of the federal government. And this is something which keeps striking us all. We all say good things. We all believe that this has to be done. This needs to be the right path for bringing the prosperity. But unfortunately, why we are not doing it? All these downsizing exercises recommended categorically that state-owned owned enterprises has to be privatized. There is no business which the federal government has to do on the commercial side, commercial and production side. Industries and commerce may be merged into the trade and industries. 
we are unable to do. We keep on repeating the same mistakes. And the frustration of Dr. Pervez Tahir resulted into write that forget tax increase. So reduce the spending. And this was just a few months back on the 23rd of the June when he was writing that we cannot increase taxes. And for taxes, sir, you are saying that 7% FBR is collecting. Ikram Saab and Huzema is sitting and they, they did a study, 4% is actually tax collection of the FBR. The audit report of 2019 of FBR states that this organization is unable to give a correct number of how much tax it has collected. And for collecting 4% of the tax, we are having a huge setup, a huge paraphernalia. And Parvez, please move forward. And if you see that for collecting 4%, we need FBR who is unable to make the filers to file their income tax. They have the data with them and they fail to make people file. In everywhere in the world, it is either you are in social protection or in tax net. And this is the definition of formality that if you are not in taxpayers net, you are on social protection. We are unable to do this simple thing. Please move forward. So, so what we should be doing, as I said, my humble submissions, three submissions I am giving, redefine the role of planning. We, we should have make planning commission as a secretariat of the CCI, which should be in the true spirit of the constitution and after the 18th amendment is require, required, we need to have federalism in true spirit where all the provinces are taking part in the planning exercise and the provinces should be devolving their resources as per the responsibilities. So social sector, and again I am referring to 2000 report which, which were done by Shahid Amjad Chaudhary and Parvez Tahir as a member, uh, suggest that education, health policy is of a federal domain. But talking about the universities, how to run the universities and how not to run the universities, it is where they belong. So they should have at federal government level the people who are brainy. By accepting that we should have a small government, we are saying businesses are smarter enough and we bureaucrats are not brainy enough. So this has to make me to think that ECNIC should take the planning exercise in complete coordination of provinces. And further, uh, please move forward. Uh, a cabinet has to be fit for the purpose not more than 10 ministries. We can't afford. And it will save your hard-earned income. And abolish 
subsidies, abolish straight land and expenditure which we are doing on it, so we can not borrowing from the lenders and compromising over our agendas. Please move forward. This is again, give FBR a decent burial. Really. We had a very good example of Nadra. We have motorway traffic example. Conventional traffic police versus motorway police. In this country, we have seen island of excellence. We have seen people thriving, people like me who belongs to the downtrodden and the marginalized group of the society come out hard worked and standing and sharing the ideas. So if we are trying to keep the legacy of the past by retaining the organizations which are not delivering, no, no more. And uh, with this, uh, please move forward. Uh, we, we have to abolish just because they are not collecting enough revenue which, we, which is essential for the development. Uh, the last thing, that the gap between the expenditures and the revenues is keep on increasing. Please, if we are, we are the advocates who are saying that there is no consistency of the policy in Pakistan, we are consistent enough in saying that we will not change. We will not reform better. We will not use power to enable the businesses and to facilitate the common man. 